Breaking news that's sending shockwaves through Britain's pensioner community. The Department for Work and Pensions has just announced devastating cuts to winter fuel payments, and what I'm about to reveal will leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about pension security in the, in the UK. If you're concerned about your future or know someone who might be affected, hit that subscribe button and notification bell right now. This is information you can't afford to miss. Have you been following the mainstream media's coverage of these cuts? Or should I say, the shocking lack of coverage? While millions of British pensioners face a winter crisis, the big news outlets seem suspiciously quiet. But today we're pulling back the curtain on what's really happening, and more importantly, exposing Labour's role in this developing crisis. Before we dive deep into this explosive story, take a second to smash that like button and subscribe. We're building a community of informed citizens who refuse to be kept in the dark about their pension rights. Your support helps us continue bringing you the truth that others won't tell you. Let me paint a picture of what's really happening. The winter fuel payment system, a crucial lifeline for countless elderly Brits, is facing unprecedented cuts. We're not talking about minor adjustments or temporary measures. These are systematic changes that could force millions of pensioners to make impossible choices this winter. But here's what makes my blood boil. This isn't just about budget cuts or austerity measures. There's a bigger story here, and it leads straight to the doors of Westminster. Remember when Labour stood at their podiums, promising to protect pensioner benefits, their passionate speeches about defending the vulnerable and ensuring dignity in retirement? Well, I've spent weeks digging through their voting records, policy decisions, and behind-the-scenes dealings, and what I've uncovered will shock you. The very party that claims to champion pensioner rights has been systematically undermining these crucial benefits for years. If you're finding this information valuable, and trust me, we're just getting started, take a moment to hit that subscribe button, We've got more explosive revelations coming up that you won't want to miss. Let's talk numbers for a moment. The average winter fuel payment has been a crucial support for pensioners, helping them maintain warm homes during the coldest months. But under these new cuts, some seniors could lose up to a significant portion of their payment. In real terms, that's the difference between heating your home properly or living in dangerous cold conditions. I've been investigating this story for months, speaking with insiders, analyzing documents, and what I've discovered about the timing of these cuts raises serious questions. Why now, when energy prices are still causing massive strain on household budgets? Why target some of society's most vulnerable members while energy companies post record profits? The answers I've uncovered will make your jaw drop. Let me share some real stories from real people. I recently spoke with Margaret from Leeds, a 75-year-old widow who's already struggling with her heating bills. I wear three layers of clothing inside my house, she told me, fighting back tears. If they cut my winter fuel payment, I don't know how I'll manage then there's John from Cardiff, 82, who's already choosing between heating and eating some days. These aren't isolated cases, they represent thousands of similar stories across Britain. But here's where things get really interesting. While investigating these cuts, I uncovered some disturbing connections between policymakers and energy companies. The timing of certain meetings, the flow of consultancy fees, the revolving door between government and energy sector positions, it all paints a picture that needs to be exposed. And if you're as concerned about these revelations as I am, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. We'll be releasing a detailed investigation next week that goes even deeper into these connections. Now, let's talk about Labour's response to these cuts, or should I say, their deafening silence. Despite their campaign promises and public statements about protecting pensioner benefits, their actions tell a different story. I've compiled a timeline of their voting record on pensioner benefits, and the pattern is clear. When they had chances to stand up for pensioners, they repeatedly chose political expediency over principle. Think about this while MPs enjoy their heated offices and comfortable salaries, millions of elderly Brits are facing a winter of uncertainty. The same politicians who promised to protect pensioner benefits are now conspicuously quiet about these cuts. Coincidence. I think not. Here's something else that's caught my attention, the implementation timeline for these cuts. Why rush them through now just before winter? And why are certain areas of the country being hit harder than others? The regional disparities in these cuts raise serious questions about political motivations. If you want to stay ahead of these changes and protect yourself or your loved ones, there are several crucial steps you need to take right now. First, check your eligibility under the new rules. We've got a detailed guide coming up next week about this. Second, explore additional support options through your local council. 
Third, make sure you're claiming all other benefits you might be entitled to. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our upcoming video on maximizing your benefit entitlements. Let's talk solutions. While these cuts are concerning, there are ways to fight back. I've been working with advocacy groups and legal experts to identify potential challenges to these changes. Next week, we'll be releasing a comprehensive guide on how to appeal decisions and access alternative support. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss this crucial information. The response to our previous videos on pension rights has been overwhelming. Thousands of you have shared your stories in the comments and it's clear that these cuts will affect people from all walks of life. Drop a comment below if you or someone you know will be impacted your voice needs to be heard. But here's what really matters unity in action. The more people who understand what's happening, the harder it becomes for politicians to ignore us. Share this video with friends and family who need to hear this information. Together, we can create a movement that demands accountability and protection for our elderly citizens. Now, let me share something that's been kept quiet insider sources suggest these winter fuel payment cuts might just be the beginning. There are whispers of more changes coming to pensioner benefits, and not in a good way. That's why staying informed is more crucial than ever. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already will keep you updated with facts, not propaganda. Let's address another crucial point, the impact on different regions. Our analysis shows that certain areas of Britain will be hit particularly hard by these cuts. We've created a detailed breakdown by region, which we'll be sharing in our next video. Subscribe now so you don't miss this essential information. The timing of these cuts couldn't be worse. With inflation still high and energy prices showing no signs of a significant decrease, many pensioners are already at a breaking point. However, there's more to this issue than the mainstream media is revealing hidden aspects of these cuts will likely remain unnoticed until it's too late. Now, more than ever, it's essential to take action to protect yourself and stay informed. First, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications we're releasing new updates on these cuts every week. Share this video with anyone who could be affected and join our community in the comments section where your experiences and insights make a real difference. Keep an eye out for our upcoming series on pensioner rights and benefit appeals, which will provide valuable information. Remember, knowledge is power and staying informed is your best defense in times like these. We're committed to bringing you the truth about these cuts and advocating for pensioner rights, but we need your support to keep this information flowing. One last bombshell before you go next week, we'll be revealing exclusive documents that show the real motivation behind these cuts. The information we've uncovered will change everything you thought you knew about pension policy in Britain. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss this explosive revelation. If you found this information helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with others who need to hear this. Together, we can make our voices heard and fight for the rights of British pensioners. The winter fuel payment cuts are just the beginning of a larger assault on pensioner benefits. But with your support, we'll continue exposing the truth and fighting for justice. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and join our growing community of informed citizens. Thank you for watching and remember stay warm, stay informed and keep fighting for your rights. I'll see you in the next video where we'll be diving even deeper into this crucial issue. Together, we can make a difference.